What is going on guys, Bengal again here, coming back at you with another video. Uh, that was a very odd cadence that I just spoke with, but we are back with another episode of Power of Peterson, aka The Power of Peterson, The Power of Peterson. I, I don't know if I want to throw in the first word. It's not going to be the title. I guess might as well not say it. But uh, if you did watch the last episode, which was the inaugural episode of Power of Peterson, I would highly recommend it. Uh, if you didn't watch it, definitely go watch that. You get a full, complete rules breakdown. And we're adding a slight change. I thought I said it in the last episode, but I guess I didn't. Is when we win, we also um, get an upgrade. So in last episode, spoiler alert, if you want to pause the video now or go watch the other one if you haven't already. You get it at a second to do that. But... Adrian Peterson rushed for over 150 yards. The uh, rule was, and I guess I can go ahead and pop that on the screen, was if he gets either 100 yards receiving, rushing, uh, gets a touchdown, three touchdowns altogether, or 296 all-purpose yards, you either get an upgrade or you get to skip an upgrade tier. So he got 100 yards rushing, and he had a touchdown. So that is two upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and use those. I don't know exactly uh, who we're going to spend them on just yet. I think what I want to do is stick with Pat Mahomes as quarterback. He played well enough. Did miss a big-ish throw at the end of the game, but I think I want to want to upgrade the offensive line. Get a few gold offensive linemen in there. Maybe someone that's going to compliment Adrian. Uh, maybe like a pound the rock gold offensive lineman if we can find them. So I guess let's go ahead and, and find someone. I wonder if I have anyone. Let's let's focus on the left side of the line and see if I have any good gold offensive tackles. Uh, Eric Flowers, absolutely not. Let's go ahead and check the auction block and see if we can find a gold left tackle with Pound the Rock. All right, so the best option appears to be Luke Jokel. We're going to go ahead and scoop him for 1,000 coins and add him to the team. If you want to see his stats, which I'm sure many of you will, here they are. 81 strength, 75 run block, 78 pass block, 81 impact blocking. Uh, I guess decent speed at 58 for an offensive lineman, but I mainly focus on someone with good run block. And 75 run block was among the best, so Luke Jokel is going to come in and play left tackle for us and now it's all about finding a decent left guard and i'm still going to stick with that pound the rock uh chemistry because you know if adrian peterson gets better i mean that's what we're looking for even though you know chemistry isn't king this year part of a big reason why i haven't brought in any chem builder clashes um but i mean if we can get some good guys here dakota dozier could be the option 77 run block and pass block and patrick omame 74 he's a better pass blocker which, you know, wouldn't be the worst thing. But again, part of the reason I haven't done anything with Chem Builder Clash is because, you know, there's no reason to. Chemistry doesn't do anything. There's no point. But I think we're going to go ahead and uh, go down to Miami with the Dolphins and buy Ted Larson. 79 run block, 73 strength. He's going to be decent. Also, 76 pass block is not all that bad. So that is our second upgrade. He also has a 76 impact blocking, 59 speed is not terrible. So those are our two upgrades that we've used so far. And this is, you know, it's going to be a long-term series. So the fact that we're not going up and immediately going to have a sick team, and we're only adding two gold players for the first time, you know, it's a process. And uh, I understand that. So Luke Joke is going to come in at left tackle. Now Earl Watford is going to be replaced with Ted Larson. And we're going to move up to a 69 overall. So um, now that we have Pound the Rock chemistry, we get plus one to run block, plus one to stiff arm, and I guess that's plus one to throw on the run. So Adrian Peterson's going to have a slightly better stiff arm. But a big thing for our offensive linemen, now we have plus to run block. So 76 run block for Luke Jokel, and I believe it's going to be 80 run block for Ted Larson, which is pretty big. That might go up to the next tier. So I'm very pleased with that. But I guess let's go ahead and jump into our game of the episode. And um, we're 0-1 currently on the season, unfortunately, after a very, very tight game um, for the first episode. We only lost by 7. But, you know, we're playing with all silvers. Hopefully, now that we have a few more upgrades on the offensive side of the ball, we can, you know, continue to put up more points. But here we go. Let's jump into this game. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see his name. Now you can. We're playing Heart Cell Tiger 1. Holy shit, he's got a really good team. Eric Berry, J.J. Watt. He's got Twitch Prime, uh, Mike Singletary, but he's a Tiger. I mean, maybe he's a long-lost cousin of the Bengal. Here we go, though. I hope we can hang, man. Like, that's a good, good team. And we, we're returning. I feel like my setting might have reversed when I had to uh, reset my console, so I need to get that back, turn it around. I want to kick first every time. 
But I guess we're starting on offense. Not not the worst thing. I, I, I guess it is the worst thing, actually. Let me take that back. I'd way rather kick. Oh, Langley. Brennan Langley, no. Also, you guys probably want this down here so you can actually see what's going on. Let's go ahead and run this play, though. As What is this, dude? That's open, though. Pat Mahomes delivering a strike. Wide open is Darren Waller, 29 yards down the field. He ran a little bit of that fag D first play. Okay, I see you. Which means we could be open to run the ball all day. No pun intended. There we go. Rolling out with Pat Mahomes. Seeing what's open. Oh, I threw it right to him. Threw it right to him. Oh, my God, Champ Ailey. That was such a stupid decision. He keeps doing that where he only rushes three and drops somebody back. I, I got to run the ball. I just got to stick to it. That's a terrible start to the game. I don't know why I did that. That was so bad. He's going to run the ball. And my user gets juked out because that's the way it plays in this. I got to upgrade the defense, I think, man. I'm tired of getting spun out when I'm in a position to make the tackle. Oh, shoot. I was not paying attention at all. And he came out in Gun Monster, and he just broke a tackle because no one on my team is good and can wrap up. And he's essentially got a touchdown. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long game. I got to probably pay attention to the game that I'm playing, though. That was so bad. <laughs> what am I doing, man? All right, here we go. Coming out of split close, we're going to run the football with a little bit of a power option. There's Adrian up the middle. Trucking, man. If I didn't truck, I wouldn't have gotten through that hole, I don't think. But... If I didn't truck, I might have been gone. It's It was a really weird thing that just happened. Well, that was a good play. I think I might stick out of a split close. Try to get Adrian involved in the uh, in the passing game. That's actually DeAndre. Nope, that's Darren Waller. He's going to get very close to the first down. He's been our one target so far. That's got to be the play call. Just get Darren Waller involved every time we can. <laughs> Darren Waller, first down. He's been the MVP of the series so far. Of course, aside from AP, who had a really, really good first game. But we couldn't come out with a W. We gotta we gotta really turn this game around and play well. We gotta make the most of our offensive opportunities, and then hopefully we can shut him down on defense. We're gonna roll out. I wanted Adrian Peterson to go upfield, and he's going to. There it is. Wow, man. That's underthrown. Or motion Adrian Peterson out a little bit. Kind of giving him off a weird look. We're gonna roll out with Pat Mahomes. Look for a target downfield. I think Adrian Peterson got separation. Make the play AP! Let's go. What a catch. I don't know why Adrian Peterson is such a good receiving back in this game. I don't know if anyone can do it, but he always holds onto the ball. He just made a sideline catch. Pat Mahomes has been throwing strikes this series so far, I got to say, though. I'm comfortable with him at wide receiver. Your quarterback. <laughs> Excuse me. What the hell? Go, Adrian. Go, Adrian. Breaking tackles a little bit. Good gain of five. Here we go. Adrian Peterson. Trucking touchdown. That was so weird. <laughs> I'll take it, though. Adrian, what is that? Uh, 12 yards into the end zone for the touchdown. That's at least one upgrade since Adrian Peterson got in the end zone. And uh, we are one extra point away from tying it. It's not letting me choose a play. Not letting me choose a play. Give me an easy read. Give me an easy read. Fumble. Ball's out. Pick it up. P pass it on. Tano. Come on, man. No. Why are you standing over the ball? Fourth and 20. Looks like he's going to punt. I don't know, though. I need Tano passing on and make a good play. He makes the good play, and then he stands over the ball with absolutely no care for picking it up. That's so painful. He's got a decent punter. That's Andy Lee. I wonder if he's actually going to punt, though. It's a fake. It's a fake. I'm in punt safe. We made the play. What a fucking idiot. No matter what here, I can't make a stupid read. I don't want to lose to a defensive line user. I mean, that's for sure. Here we go. Show me good blocking, Adrian. Like, J.J. Watt is a fucking glitch against my, my shit offensive line. He is a glitch. Man, it's instant block sheds for days. I don't think I can run to that side of the field or even anywhere close because he's just going to instant block shed, uh, switch on conservative suction cup tackle me immediately every time. But we are going to take a lead, though. I think he's going to stick with the ball on the ground. And he is. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. That's my bad. I felt like I had to come up and make a play. Um, I tried. HB Toss. HB TOS. Pretty sure that's how you spell toss. No way he runs the ball again here, right? I didn't think so. It's a screen. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Oh, great tackle. Who is that? 
Who's 53? That's Joshua Perry making a play. I used a pick with him last game, and now he's going to come up and make a diving stop. And that would have been a ton of yardage. Oh, that's wide open over the middle of the field. Brandon Langley. Fuck. That's wide open. What I really need to do is abuse his cover four if he's going to run that again. That's open. That's open. There it is. Set me a good block. Braxton Miller. It's a decent Braxton Miller spin move. All right, hopefully he is not ready for the inside zone. I've had success with this play in the past. We're going to run at J.J. Watt. If blocking is good, we can be successful. Here we go. There we go. There, AP. Hit him. Let's go. First down, Adrian Peterson. We're cooking. 34 yards on the day for him. I can't go back to that. I need Adrian Peterson to be doing something here. He's on a block and release. I'm also looking at Darren Waller. 53 seconds before halftime. I had X. I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw that. Make a play. Darren Waller. Almost. It's a long field goal, though, for Giorgio Tavecchio. It's 45 yards. I'm not sure he can hit this. I'm going to have to get a good kickoff. That should be good. Giorgio Tavecchio. And that kick is through the uprights. We are down by one. Got to play good defense now. Odds are not in our favor, but it's still a really close game. One win would be huge at this stage in the series to get another upgrade. Actually, some people said skip tier. I don't think that's what I want to do. Although at this point, it would be you know a lot more valuable to have that skip tier, especially because it's way harder to win these games. But I think we're just going to stick for uh, one upgrade at this point. Unless you guys tell me otherwise in the comments section below. Because we're not going to make the upgrades until next episode. I'm right there. Good tackle. Joshua Perry's a playmaker, man. Baseline, baseline, baseline. Baseline. Dude, I base a line and they just didn't base a line. Baseline's the way to stop Gun Monster. Then we just got bulldozed. Make the play. Oh my goodness. What a play by Tim Williams on the edge. Forcing a 4th and 11, and I think a field goal try. It's the right call, but that's only going to put him ahead 17-13. Touchdown would put us back in uh, back in front. So, I want to do that, like, a lot. 17-13. <laughs> still anybody's game here late in the third quarter. I can still win this. We just got to make the most of our opportunities. Dude, like, what the fuck, man? I need you to follow that route. That's an interception. That's your zone. That's so dumb. That's a bad read, and he, like, wide open down to the one. I'm just going to run commit. It's a run. Like, 100% it's a run. But I don't think we can stop it, even with a hard run commit. Wide open. Nice fullback dive. All right, third and nine now. And he's, he's doing this fag defense shit that's so frustrating. Pat Mahomes delivers an absolute strike, though, on the run. You can't ask for a better throw than that in that situation. This guy, like, I, I don't know why I keep playing these dudes. Like, he's like, oh, playing an all-silver team with one elite and two golds. Let me just drop back my lineman. It's just, it's just so gay, man. Like, there's no need to do that. Play straight up. No one does. Like, look at what he's doing, man. It's so frustrating. I'm going deep. Why? That's the worst fucking pass I've ever seen in my life. You got to make that play, King. Make the... Somebody, Josh Jones. Somebody catch the ball. You got to make that play. My God, catch the ball, man. Suddenly, my secondary that had like, what, three interceptions last week or last game cannot for the life of them snag an interception in this game please fake it on me please i wish you would interesting punt great spin move couldn't have couldn't have done it better myself this should be open adrian peterson in the flats i have no time to throw the ball here's adrian got to make a play the no one adrian peterson would not get tackled on that he just wouldn't he got, like, 
a little gust of wind basically blew him over on that play. There was no tackle made. I'm literally, I'm base aligning and no one's fucking doing it. Base align is Y over and they're not fucking doing it. I can't, I can't do anything. I really can't move the ball. I'm trying to run it to get, you know, the stats that I need with Adrian Peterson, and I just can't. You're going to drop back with J.J. Watt. Surprise, surprise. Happens every fucking play. Then we're going to throw it. Pat Mahomes is maybe not the best option at quarterback. We have, what, nine seconds. I need a touchdown with AP somehow. He's basically touching me there. I'm just going to go deep to AP. Pat Mahomes, who has an incredible arm, can't even throw it 20 yards downfield is incredible to me but uh this was again not a very fun episode because i'm guess i'm just getting crushed and it's not even that the games aren't close because i mean this game was close for a while but it's like my defensive line my linebackers my cornerbacks my safeties they're getting spun out or pancaked every time i'm baselining they're not even doing it and um like there's nothing that i can do about that and on offense, it's just, you know, instant block sheds every time. It's tough. As the series progresses, we're going to get better players, and it's going to be a little bit less painful. But right now, it's painful. But sorry if you didn't enjoy the episode. I had fun uh, recording it, despite, you know, my opponent. But uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, we get one upgrade for next week, so... Um, I might address the offensive line again, or next, I keep saying next week, like it is week three, but I'll probably just keep going with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one, take it easy.